Hello children, namaste from Joy of Reading. Today's story is The Trouble with Trouble. The author is Menaka Raman and illustrator is Damini Gupta. Publisher is Pratham Books. Hmm, trouble. We've heard that in our school, right? When a teacher says, don't trouble in the class. What it means? It means creating some problem. But here we see the trouble with trouble. So someone is having trouble with trouble. So I think it must mean that there is a character named Trouble in this story. And we can see from this cover picture, there are two cute characters. One is this girl and a cute and bubbly, round and fat dog. So let us see who is Trouble in this story. Have you seen my dog? Her name is Trouble. She has one year and is round as a bubble. So this girl is saying looks like in the story, have you seen my dog? And her name is Trouble. So the dog's name is Trouble. And how is she describing the dog? She is round, nice and round. And what is round? Bubble. And you can see the picture here, the bubbles are there. She also round like a bubble. And year, this is a year for us, right? And look at this dog. It has only one ear. Trouble is missing. Where has she gone? Just this morning, I saw her stealing some prawns. Why did we name her Trouble, you ask? Array, she once chewed her way through Dada's blue flask. She waits for the newspaper by the front door. Good luck if you wanted the cricket score. So the girl says trouble is missing. What does missing mean? So I have the clue in the next sentence itself. Where has she gone? So the girl does not know where trouble is. She does not know where she is and she's not present near her. So she's missing from here, from her house or something. And she says just that morning, she saw her stealing some prawns. What is steal? A thief steals. Her thief will steal money or jewels, whatever it is, right? And trouble is seen, seen to steal prawns. And what are prawns? So from this picture, we can see that trouble is running away with something in her mouth. So this must be definitely associated with stealing, right? You can also see this person chasing her. So what does she have in her mouth? Most likely it is prawn. Prawn is a sea creature. So, and then um, the girl also says, you might want to know why we named her Trouble. Do you know why? She chewed her way through Dada's blue flask. So Dada means a grandfather. So we all know that. So what does chewed or flask mean? So Dada is definitely this person here is an old person. And you can see something that is blue here, which would be the flask or a bottle. And how does the bottle look? It has some bite mark. So clearly trouble bit it off and she ate it. She chewed the Dada's blue flask. So she bit off the piece of the flask. And not only the flask, trouble also didn't leave the newspaper. You can see the newspaper. It also has these bite marks. So if you wanted to read about the cricket score, can you do with all of these uh, damaged newspaper? I don't think so. Trouble, oh trouble, please come back home. I'll greet you with hugs and a very large bone. So we were thinking about missing in the last page, right? So again, you can see this little girl thinking aloud or thinking in her mind. You can see this cloud means that they are thinking. Oh trouble, please come back home, which also means that missing means she's not there right she's gone somewhere and this girl doesn't know so she says please come back home again and what does she say that she'll do i you can see that what she wants to do right i'll greet you with hugs hugs is like tightly embracing or hugging like this right when we hold a person like that and what will she give look at this this is a large big bone right why does she want trouble back? My friends think 
a dog that dug a hole under the sink. A dog who hates baths and sweet soapy suds, who'd rather roll around in icky mud. So this must be the girl's friend. And they are thinking, thinking, why does she want trouble back again? She's creating a lot of problems. So that's what they're thinking. And what did the dog do? Here is the sink, a wash patient, right? You can see in this picture. What has she done? She's made a hole. So under the sink, the sink is here and under it means anything below it. What she's done, she's dug a hole. So when we go to the beach, we dug, dig, right? We dig, we take sand out and we dig a hole. So the dog has also dug a hole, but as you can see in this picture, right under the sink. And this dog hates, does not like baths or soaps. And what did she like to do rather? You can see all her muddy paw prints here, paw, right? That's how the dog's paw looks like, this place, right, of the dog. And you can see all the prints here. She likes only the icky mud. She turns up her nose when we serve her lunch, then demands we give her our food to munch. So when they go and give her the dog's lunch, she says, she turns up her, mm -hmm, I don't want. But when they, you can see in the table, all the food for the people is kept nice and yummy. And when they start eating, she comes there and asks, mm, give me also this food to, to munch. Trouble, oh trouble, please come back soon. I promise to play catch all afternoon. So the girl has still not found trouble. And she says, what does she promise? Catch, what is catch? Throw and catch. That's what we play with ourselves as well as with dogs. We throw a ball and it'll catch and come, right? So she says, I'll play catch with you throughout the afternoon. Squirrels, cats, and birds, she despises. Postmen and dobi balas, she surprises. Why keep this dog, you may ask sincerely. Trouble is a bundle of chaos, clearly. So, what mischief does this dog make? You can see cat here. She can see a squirrel here, bird. She despises, she does not like them at all. And then the postman, you can see, this is the postman, Dobiwala, is the one who washes your clothes. If they come, she tries to chase them and they are scared and they run, right? So that's what she does. So everyone may ask, thinking, see, this trouble does all this mischief. Why do you want to keep this dog? And we have this question sincerely, truly, we do not understand. Because trouble is a bundle of chaos or like all sorts of confusion creation. So why do you still want this dog? We don't understand. Well, she fetches my shoes and socks from the bed. In return, all she wants is a pat on the head. Trouble is like tonic when I'm feeling sick. A lick and a nuzzle and I'm right as a tick. So we are all asked her, right? Saying, why do you still want this dog? It's creating so much confusion, chaos. But then she says, she fetches my shoes and socks. So you can see here, right? You can see the socks here. She brings or takes and brings this girl's shoes and socks. And then all what does she want? Just a pat like this on the head. And when we are sick or not feeling well, we drink tonic or some medicine, right? But trouble is like a medicine. And this girl is feeling sick. You can see her, right? Because the dog will come lick her. Lick, what is lick? Dog does that, right? With its tongue, ah, and comes and 
licks our face. That is called licking, right? It touches our face with its tongue. That's called lick. Nuzzle, you've seen the dog will come and do mm, 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 like that, right? It'll come with its face and it'll come do like this with us, right? That's a nuzzle. And once she does that, this girl feels very good. She's right. A tick is right, right? So she feels good or right as a tick. Like a tick mark means it's good like that. Trouble, oh trouble, please don't be far. When you come back home, we'll ride in my car. So this girl is telling, trouble, please come back. Don't go far off from me. Don't go very far away means a lot of distance away from me. She says, we'll ride in my car. We'll go in my car. You can see that means we'll go in the car when she comes back home. She barks even when I drop the ball and comes to my rescue if I take a fall. She knows when I'm happy, when I'm hopping mad. She knows just what to do when I'm feeling sad. So trouble knows everything. So when she drops, when the girl drops a ball or puts the ball down, and then if she falls down, he come and help her, rescue her. And then Trouble also knows when the girl is happy or what is hopping mad. Hopping, we usually do it with one or leg, right? We jump like this. That is hopping. But when you say hopping mad means being very angry. So Trouble knows when the girl is happy or angry. And she also knows when this girl feels sad. What to do? See, look at her. The girl is feeling sad here in this picture. She goes to her and hugs her to comfort her. How sweet is that, right? There we go, trouble. Where have you been? So look at the joy in this girl's face. So there you are. So she has found trouble and she's so happy. Oh no, eating Rama auntie's bright leafy greens. So. She's eating something definitely and green. What is this green? Oh, leafy greens. So she's eating some leaves from Rama auntie's garden. Trouble is trouble of that. There's no doubt. But there's no better feeling in the world than her snout. So... She's again creating mischief or problem eating Rama auntie's plant. But she's a lot of trouble still. But then her snout, what is snout? The dog's nose, you can see her prominently, right? Dog's nose, that is a snout. So when she comes and does that nuzzling mm -mm -mm -mm, like that, right? There's no better feeling because you feel so happy. Look at trouble coming and putting its snout or her nose on this little girl and she's feeling so happy in spite of all the trouble that trouble creates she's so good to be with oh she's the best dog there ever could be if only she'd learn to eat my homework for me so the girl tells it's the best dog but only if she learns to eat her homework as well you think she said that because she can tell the trouble ate my homework to the teacher, right? Anyway, dogs are the man's best friend and it's so cute to have one with you. I hope you enjoyed hearing the story. Thank you. Let us see some of the difficult words in the story. Trouble, difficulty or problem. Despises, hates or strongly dislikes. Nuzzle. Rub or push against gently with the nose and mouth. Try these. Would you like to have a pet like trouble? Why? And if you don't, why not? Till we meet again next time, this is Harini signing off. Bye.